What's up YouTube? If you just switched to the Garmin watch from Apple and you want to connect your Garmin watch to the Peloton app, unfortunately, they don't directly share data with each other. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Garmin watch heart rate sensor as the Peloton heart rate monitor. I do want to mention before we get started, there is another option out there called Sync My Workout. I've heard really good reviews. Um, I haven't tried it due to the cost. I'm personally not interested in another subscription as Peloton is already pretty pricey. The second option, which I will walk you through, is straightforward and will prepare you for your next ride. Also, before you comment about how this is in the user manual, blah, 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 you're right. I'm sure it is in the manual, but I'm sure most of you already lost it and YouTube and Google is your first step anyways. That's why you're here, right? Another reason I wanted to share this is because when I searched for this, there wasn't a lot of straightforward information, so I'm hoping that this video makes it easy to broadcast heart rate from your Garmin watch. All right, if you're still here listening to me, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm so that I can keep on making videos just like this. All right, let's jump right in on how to broadcast your heart rate to your Peloton app on the bike. Before you hop on the bike, make sure to turn off your phone's Bluetooth. This helps prevent your watch from trying to connect to your phone. If you haven't yet connected your watch with the Garmin Connect app to your phone, it's pretty straightforward and both devices walk you through it similar to the Apple Watch. Okay, once your phone's Bluetooth is turned off, get on the bike and prepare to ride. Pick your workout. And then on the start screen, you're gonna see Bluetooth audio not connected and then heart rate not connected. Now let's grab the Garmin watch. In this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. On your main screen, hold and press and hold the center up button until you access the menu. Go down into settings, find sensors and accessories, enter, down, wrist heart rate, down, broadcast heart rate. Okay, now you're in this screen, you're gonna wanna go up and pick a workout. Start the workout and in the start screen, you will see heart rate not connected and Bluetooth audio not connected. Go back to the watch and press start and now you are broadcasting your heart rate and it should still you can see it picked it up connected sometimes if it's the first time it's being learned to the bike you may get a confirmation screen and you just push confirm on the watch we're connected and our heart rate is monitoring so we can easily start our workout and as you can see our heart rate is broadcasting and we are live with Kindle Tool. All right, as for connecting the watch to the app for every other workout that does not include your bike, um, it's the same process. Uh, you're, most likely your watch will already be paired with your watch if your phone's Bluetooth is on. Back into the watch settings, broadcast your heart rate, and then start the workout on the Peloton app and your Peloton app will use your watch's heart rate for the monitor. This helps with all sorts of things on the Peloton app, like the Strive score on the bike um, that monitors your heart rate and different zones you're in. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Happy riding. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.